Hey guys, so we are at page uh, 405. This is the last page that I'm going to be presenting of the trail guide to the body um, because the trigger point will be presented in a different uh, manner. Um, trigger points is very, very crucial that uh, for people to know because, um, you know, a trigger point could be mistaken as a, uh, a headache or a pain in the chest where it's only a, a, a trigger point, right? And in such you know some areas and it's referring to other areas of uh the body right like say the shoulder or you know sometimes you're referring to the face where there's a trigger point on the back deck or some something um th in that manner but we were going to be um featuring that after this last page okay i will be um doing re uh, posting um some videos that i haven't really uh, posted uh, because of this one um, because I did per page per page it took me a lot of posting so they're limiting my post so I'll see you guys soon and trigger point okay um, but this is this is very important um, features that I wanted to uh, mention or feature uh, they are this page is last but not the least okay so there's solace pedis artery I said many times that artery veins or um, Nerve and nerves and even the um the lymph nodes should be really really look into where is it located so we are when we are doing manual therapy uh even from a registered massage therapist that uh they know uh, where it is and as a consumer as a client consumer my apologies as a partner you have to know this because it's your body right and this is why it's really crucial that for us also to, to, to go to a registered massage therapist because why they know where the body is because compressing on those could damage. We don't know the um, the long-term um, effect, but it, it does. Okay, so looking at a dorsal view of the right foot, we have here uh, the image 7.153. Whereas the therapist is at the very end of the table and the client is in a supine position with bolstered at the knee uh, because the resting position and the ankle being um, at the very end of the table, okay? So the dorsal, um, dorsalis uh, pedis artery is located between the first and second metatarsal bones, okay? So the dorsalis pedis artery lies superficial along the dorsal side of the foot. You can also feel that on yourself. Okay, you can feel the pulse. Okay, so partner in a supine, locate the first and second metatarsals. You're going to place two finger pads between the two bones and using gentle pressure, explore for the pulse of the dorsalis pedis artery. Okay, so you're going to ask yourself these questions. Are you lateral to the extensor hallucis longus tendon? If the pulse is undetectable, move slightly lateral. Okay, so... Um, for the sesame uh, bones of the first metatarsal, we have here image uh, 7.154, which is showing a plantar view of those um, sesame, sesamoid bones, okay? So the sesamoid bones of the first metatarsal, metatarsal are located along the plantar surface of the first metatarsal head. Usually there are two of these bones, but sometimes more are present. So the sesamoids are uh, spherical and embedded in the tendon of the flexor hallucis brevis. Okay, often only their location and density, not their specific shapes, are palpable. Okay, so having your partner in a seated or a supine, um, you're going to locate the head of the first metatarsal. You're going to slide around to its uh, plantar surface at the ball of the foot. So using your temp pad, uh, you can explore the surface for the small sesamoid bones. So passively flex and extend the first toe to soften the surrounding tissues. Okay. So uh, moving forward to the calcaneal, uh, calcaneal borsa or borsae. So we have the image 7.155 medial view of the right foot. Okay. You have, you, you see the therapist thumb um, trying to locate for, for the calcaneal tendon. Okay. So the calcaneal borsa is located between the attachment of the calcaneal tendon and the overlying skin. So the retrocalcaneal borsa is positioned, positioned on the opposite side of the calcaneal tendon. It serves to cushion the tendon against the calcaneus. Okay, so but both borsa are uh, impalpable. 
However, they can become thick or inflamed from tight shoes and specifically especially from high heels. Okay, so partner seated or supine with the ankle in a neutral position. We're going to locate the calcaneal tendon. So follow it distally until it merges into the calcaneus. Okay, so gently squeeze the skin posterior to the tendon. So this is where the calcaneal borsa is located. Okay, so shift your fingers between the tendon and calcaneus. So if the borsa uh, are healthy, they will not be palpable. Okay, so that's your indication there. Okay, that's your cheat sheets. Okay, so if it's palpable, then there's a bursitis going on. Okay, like mine, I have a trochanter bursitis. I'll see you guys on uh, Trigger Points. Thank you guys, and I hope you guys subscribe and like so that I can continue doing this. Love you guys, and God loves us all. I'll post the videos about um, the power of prayer.